everyone, Jennifer from Scrapbooks and Memories um, wanted to do a pocket letter swap. And so um, a few of us entered the swap and she was my partner. So I'll show you what I made for her. I love pocket letters. They're one of my favorite things to do. So I made her this tassel on the pocket letter and it's got all these kind of ribbons. Um, I absolutely love this one. Deanna Grooms gave me this a while ago, and I didn't even think to use it for tassels, and it's really pretty because it's AB, although you can't tell on camera, it's really sparkly and very pretty and all different pinks and blues and purples on it, so I put that in there. Thank you, Deanna, again. I love that stuff, so I made that tassel. And then this was a pack that I used from Hobby Lobby. I think the ones, they're like $6.99 or $5.99 and they go on sale for like $2. So I got this a while ago. Um, I just put, just cut some of the paper pack up, put it in there, put some stickers from the pack. You know, I don't think you can see that, but it says best day ever. And it says, this one says today is a good day. Girls just want to have fun. And I got some stickers. Uh, not pop-up stickers, too. Puffy stickers. Whatever you want to call them. 3D stickers. They're in here. And there's a BU sticker. Um, and that. I just love making these. It's so much fun. Now, the uh, sometimes I put the same kind of paper on the other side, too. But this time I just left it blank. And then you're like supposed to put little things in here. Well, I never do that because the stuff that I give never fits in these envelopes. This is also some shaker mix that I put in there. And I was good this time because every time I use my fuse, it never works. Right? And I, I said, what am I doing wrong? I'm overstuffing, guys. I'm overstuffing the sequins. So when I put it over, it's this big hump. Right? And I can't close the thing. Well... I have put a lot less sequins in than I normally do, and I hated to do that because there's, if there's one thing I do with sequins mix with these pocket letters, I always overfill. But you can't because then you can't close it shut. And then I always end up putting a piece of ribbon here or something, and it always looks ugly. So I like it better like this. So I just had another... Um, uh, I just had another what? I don't know what I was just going to say. But I, I had this left over. Maybe that's what I was going to say. I had this left over from the mix that I showed you last time. I did a, a spring mix. A, and I did it online. And that's it right there. I have some left over too. So I put some in here. And I'm going to give her some. And just to pretty up the thing, I just hot glued a little... Um, daisy on there so that's her pocket letter i put some springy kind of washi tape over here and i redid the holes i love that tassel i love making tassels i really do if i can find anything springy charms to put dangle on i will but i think i use them all <laughs> um so that's what i'm gonna give her and then the extras i'm gonna give her are so you saw the sequins mix I was thinking, what do I have for spring? What else do I have? I'm going to give her a pack of these flowers, mint green and yellow. Um, and th these are a little bit darker than what you see on camera. I'm going to give her a pack of that. I'm going to give her, I guess you would call these daisies. I'm going to give her some of that and some of the white and pinks, which I think there's about a yard here each, I, I would think. I would hope. I didn't measure it. And then, I said, what else do I have? Well, I have a lot of these kind of colors. These are really pretty. They're the AB. If anyone doesn't know what AB is, it's Aurora Borealis, which is my absolute favorite. Actually, I wanted my engagement ring to be Aurora Borealis. And Damien was like, that's a gemstone. I said, I don't care if it's a gemstone. That's what I want. I want Aurora Borealis. I said, I don't care. And it, Aurora Borealis is practically, see, I wish you could see. But, you know, it's like, 
it's like clear and then it's got all um, light pinks and blues and purples and greens. Every time you shift it, you know, it changes all different kind of colors. And I said, I want a Royal Borealis. I don't care it's a gemstone. Just put it in a good setting and that's what I want. He would not do it. He had to get the black diamond. I guess he felt funny. I guess he didn't want me walking around with a gemstone. I guess he felt that that was cheap and he didn't want to do that. But that's what I wanted. And so I tell him all the time, where's my Aurora Borealis? <laughs> and then everybody that sees me and, and they see me walking around with the ring, they always say, oh, that ring is so perfect for you because you're all into metal and everything. And that suits you and black's your favorite color and all these things. And I'm like, I didn't want that ring. So, <laughs> so people get a laugh with it because... They think it's something I picked out, but I didn't. So I didn't care. I was like, look, get me a white gold setting and, and just get put that. That's what I want. I want the gemstone. He would not do it. So that's okay. But anyway, I always get off topic here. Who the hell cares about that? You're here to look at what I'm doing for this swap. So I figured I would give her some of these and these purple ones. Maybe some of the clear ones. These are kind of springy, right? These are kind of cute, these things. So uh, I might give her like a little embellishment box with a few things in it. And um, I think that's it. So um, I might get, I think I have a few of these. If I do, I'll give her a couple. So that's what I'm going to give Jennifer. Um, again, she's hosting this swap. I love pocket letters. Um, you know, I don't overdo them. I, I'm kind of simple with my crafting, as you know. I mean, Stace, she overdoes hers. She made a beautiful one for me. Uh, oh, she had all kind of things all over the place. And then she had, she made another one recently where she actually put pockets on the outside of it. And I'm more of a, you know, just a little simple kind of thing. I, I, I it's hard for me to make crafts with a bunch of things going on i wish i could but i don't know it's just this comes more easier to me if, if i tried to do that other thing i don't know how i would do it. i'll have to try it one day but this is more my style just kind of simple um and cute you know breathable you know just a little here and there nothing too overpowered um but that's like my whole life is like that <laughs> even in my own house it's just a little thing here and there a little plant here, you know, or whatever, nothing. Like, my mother has plants all over the place, and her in her brother apartment looks really nice. But to me, it's like, I would feel like I'd be overwhelmed and cluttered. Even though it looks good, I can't, like, someone would have to design my house for me, because I just, to do it myself, I would just feel like I'm messing it all up with a big clump. But um, Stace is really good at that. She's really good at making... Things like that in Harmony from Harmony's Creation is all oh, her journals. My God, she makes me laugh. She puts a lot in those journals and she's just plopping things on and they're looking so beautiful, you know. I'm afraid that if I did that, it would look like a disaster. So they do really a good job with everything. But anyway, this was my pocket letter. This is what I do. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Happy crafting and I'll catch you next time. Bye.